Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninus. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. Welcome to episode 1 of 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at this question from the Flash Learners Jam application. It says, which of the following statements is not true about atoms? A. Atom. An atom is made up of nucleus and a number of electrons. B. The mass of an atom is concentrated in the nucleus. C. Atoms of different elements have different atomic weights. D. Atoms of all elements are identical. When you see questions like this, you reason, what is an atom? Is atom made up of nucleus and a number of electrons? Where is the mass of the atom concentrated? To make sure you understand this question and you are able to solve 101 other similar questions in atoms, we shall be taking a look at physics, matter, and atoms. You can't really understand atoms without understanding matter and without understanding physics. Now, what is physics? Physics is actually a cause or a subject that studies natural phenomena. Which means physics has been around from the days of Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, Copernicus, Galileo, Isaac Newton, and so on. Physics is the study of matter in relation to energy. So physics studies matter and energy. What is matter and what is energy? Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. So everything you see around, chair, barrel, table, sand, water, they have mass and they occupy space. In the sense that if you pack so many of them in a particular place, the place can get filled up. Mass and occupy space. So matter are referred to as materials. materials. Energy, on the other hand, is the opposite of matter. Look at it. If matter is anything that has mass and occupies space, looking at this universe, if we remove everything that has mass and occupies space, what do we have left? We have things that don't have mass and don't occupy space. That is energy. Energy is simply antimatter. The universe is therefore made up of matter and energy. I gave you examples of matter. What is an example of energy? In a room, how many lights can you shine for the room to get filled up so that nothing else can enter? No matter the rays of light in a room, you can still enter, you can still put things inside. Which simply means that light is not occupying space. No energy, you are moving across it. So, an example of energy is light. 
there are waves, disturbances. And mass is simply the quantity of matter a body possesses. It is different from weight. Weight is mass times gravity. Gravity being a force that brings all objects down, when it acts on a mass, then you have weight. The unit of mass is kilogram. So if you have a body of mass 2 kilogram kg, you raise it up, taking acceleration due to gravity to be 10 meters per second square, g to be 10 meters per second square. This body will possess a weight of 2 kilogram times 10 meters per second square. That is 20 kilogram meters per second square. And kilogram meter per second square is also referred to as Newton, which is unit of weight and force from Isaac Newton. That being said, physics and matter. Matter is made up of atoms. If we agree that this is matter, this is matter. When you break them down into the simplest form, that simplest form of that material or of the substance is simply an atom. So atoms are the unit of matter, the smallest form of matter, that is atom. By definition, we say that atom is the smallest particle of an element that can take place in chemical reaction. Atoms are so small that you cannot see them with your naked eye. Looking at this matter, this small marker is made up of billions and billions and billions of atoms. Since atoms, they don't even exist independently. They exist as molecules. As molecules. So atoms combine to form molecules. And when atom or group of atoms possess charge, positive or negative, they become ions now atoms as small as it is it possesses what we refer to as subatomic particles subatomic particles and these subatomic particles are proton neutron and electron if we take atom to be something like this, and let's say this is inside, this inside the atom is referred to as nucleus. And what do we have in the nucleus? Inside the nucleus, we have proton and neutron. So you can say P and N. Now here, you have electrons, they revolve around the nucleus. So you can say here, is electron the proton is positively charged electron is negatively charged but most time the atom is neutral it does not possess charge this is because the charge of the proton and electron they cancel out they are equal and opposite proton is plus 1.602 times 10 to the power of minus 19 electron is minus 1.602 times 10 to the power of minus 19. So, subtract this from this, you get zero. Which means an atom is electrically neutral when the proton, number of proton, is equal to the number of electron. And the mass of the atom is proton plus neutron. When you bring an atom or element, because element is a substance that contains only one type of atom, that is element. When a substance contains two types of atom or different type of atom, it is no longer an element, it is a substance. And when element, it is a compound rather. And when elements or compounds or substances combine physically, they form mixtures. So the sum of proton and neutron is referred to as mass or weight of the atom. So the weight of every atom or every element is proton plus neutron. The number of any element or uh, any element is the number of proton 
So the number of proton is atomic number. Neutron plus proton is mass number. So in a neutral atom, electron is also the atomic number. And elements are arranged in the periodic table based on their atomic number. The first 20 elements are hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, and calcium. Which means hydrogen has one proton, one atomic number. Helium has two. With this explanation, let's see if we are able to answer the question before us. Which of the following statements is not true about atom? An atom is made up of nucleus and a number of electrons. Nucleus, electrons, correct. The mass of an atom is concentrated in the nucleus. Mass is proton plus neutron. And proton and neutron are where? Inside the nucleus. Which means the mass is concentrated in the nucleus and electron contributes least to the mass of an atom. C. Atoms of different elements have different atomic weights. Atoms of different elements. Generally, atoms of different elements will have different atomic weights or mass. But there are cases where atoms of different elements can have the same atomic mass. For example, carbon has atomic number of 6. Carbon can have mass of 14. Nitrogen, atomic number 7, it can have mass of 14. So there are atoms of different elements, they have the same mass. Atoms of the same element, like chlorine, 17, can have a mass of 35 and a mass of 37. Even carbon can have a mass of 12, 13, and 14. So atoms of the same element can have different weights. All these things can happen. But since this option C did not say all, let us proceed to option D. Option D says, atoms of all elements are identical. No, 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 no. Atoms of all elements are not identical. Atoms of the same elements are not even always identical. So, atoms of all elements are not identical. Atoms of different elements, they differ. Some cases, some of them are similar. But generally, atoms, they differ. Which makes option D not true about atoms. And anytime you see all in a question, you need to think twice because generalization is always not true. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's class. It is time for homework. Open your Flatteners app, click on question search, type atom, then answer question number four and five. See if you can answer any other questions. Thank you. See you in the next class.